وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب Should a man marry if he's unable to take care of a wife or should a, marry, a man that has more than one wife or a wife and he wants to take another wife, should he marry if he's unable to take care of her? This is the question at hand. Let's see what our Sheikh, Sheikh uh, Abdullah uh, Al-Mar'i Al-Adani, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, uh, answered with regards to this question. قال السؤال the question was رجل متزوج ثلاثة من نساء وقد طلق واحدة وتكفل هؤلاءها في نفقتها والاثنين في عقده وهو لا يريد أن يعمل ويريد أن يرتاح وواحدة من زوجاته لا يكفلها بنفقتها فتكون على من نفقة هل تجب على أولاد زوجها أم لا؟ So the question is, أيها الأحباب, a man is married to three women and then he divorces one of them and her children take care of her and spend upon her. And two of the wives... Uh, the two that are remaining under his uh, husbandry that he's the husband for, under his care, he doesn't want to work and he wants to just sit and be comfortable. And one of the uh, of his wives, he does not spend upon her and he does not uh, take care of her. So then who should take care of her? Who should spend on her? Is it an obligation upon uh, the children of the, of the husband to take care of her or not? The Sheikh answered, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, he said, Al-wajib ala hadha zawj, ma dama mutazawajin, an yanfaka an hadhi al-mar'ati, بِنَفَقَةِ مِثْلِ وَلَا يَجُوزْ لَهُ أَنْ يَطْرَقَ مَرْأَةَ بِدُونِ نَفَقَةٍ لَيْسَ لَيْسَ الْإِسْلَامُ إِبَاحَةً لَهُ تَعَدَّدَ عَلَى حِسَابِ طَدِيعِ الْحَقُوقِ مَنْ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُ أَنْ يَقُومَ بِالْحَقُوقِ لَا يَجُوزْ لَهُ أَنْ يَتَعَدَّدَ فَإِنَّ مِنْ شُرُوطِ التَّعَدَّدِ القيام بالحقوق على الوجه الذي يكون به أمثال هذه المرأة وأما من لم يقوم بالحقوق التي تجب عليه فهذا يأثم وقد قال نبي صلى الله عليه الصلاة والسلام كفى بالمرء إثما أن يضيع من يعول وفي رواية يقود والحديث أصله صحيح مسلم. The Sheikh answered half of the law Taala about the man who does not take care, uh, does not want to spend upon his wife, and he uh, wants to just be comfortable and stay at home and not work. The Sheikh said half of the law Taala. He said it's an obligation upon the the husband, as long as he's married to her, uh, to spend upon this. Uh, woman similar to the way he spends on the other woman and he said it is not permissible to leave a woman without provisions and this is not from Islam Islam does not make that permissible for him it is not permissible for him in Islam to marry another wife at the expense of uh, the rights of others and as long as he is unable to provide for the rights, then it is not permissible for him to marry another wife. For verily, one of the conditions for taking another wife for polygamy is that he is able to provide uh, for her and her expenses 
in a way which is similar to the other woman. And as for the one who does not meet her rights or does not give people their rights, then it is an, uh, which are an obligation upon him, then this is a sin. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it is sufficient for a person, uh, the sin that they gain, for the one who uh, does not, who is careless in his responsibilities for the ones he, he has to take care of. This is the general meaning of the hadith. So, meaning the person will get, uh, is sinful, that waste or does not give the people their rights that have rights over him, whether it be the husband taking care of his wives or the, the man taking care of his children. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from this type of behavior and protect us and forgive us for our many shortcomings with regards to our families. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with and preserve the shaykh and bless all of the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah wherever they may be. And may Allah bless our brothers and sisters and demand and protect them and preserve them and defend them. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.